सिक्स पी एम पाकिस्तान स्टैंडर्ड टाइम असलम दिस इज रेडियो पाकिस्तान द न्यूज रेड बाय अब्दुल राफे सुहेल फर्स्ट द हेडलाइंस प्राइम मिनिस्टर हैज एम्फोसाइज यूनिटी अमंग ऑल प्रोविंसेज टू जॉइंटली फाइट द मेनस ऑफ टेररिज्म फेडरल गवर्नमेंट हैज अनाउंस कॉम्पनसेशन अमाउंट ऑफ टू मिलियन रुपीज ईच फॉर मार्टर्स एंड फाइव हंड्रेड थाउजेंड रुपीज ईच फॉर इंजर्ड पीपल इन द पिशावर ट्रेजिडी The Senate was informed today that the government is taking substantial measures to generate low-cost electricity in the country. Minister for Commerce says Pakistan is committed to increasing bilateral trade and investment opportunities with the United States. Kashmir Solidarity Day will be observed on Sunday to express Pakistan's continued and unflinching support to Kashmiri people in their just struggle for right to self-determination. and nato has called on russia to comply with the new start nuclear treaty to preserve international stability and now the news in detail prime minister mohammad shahbaz sharif has emphasized unity among all provinces to jointly fight the menace of terrorism presiding over the meeting of apex committee in peshawar today he said the federal government will extend maximum support in strengthening the counter terrorist department and police of khyber pakhtunkhwa to help it better fight terrorism the prime minister vowed that a thorough investigation will be carried out and the culprits behind the peshawar police lines terrorist incident will be taken to task he expressed solidarity with the families of those who lost their lives in the incident and announced compensation money of 2 million rupees for each martyr and 500000 rupees for each injured on behalf of the federal government the prime minister recalled that military operations including zarbiazb and raddul fasad successfully wiped out terrorism in the past he said the nation would not forget the invaluable sacrifices of the armed forces in this regard the prime minister said he has convened an all parties conference on tuesday to discuss ways to overcome the current national challenges he urged all the political leaders to set aside political differences as this is the time to get united for the greater national cause Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif has said that expansion of strategic relations between Pakistan and China is a testament of the decades-long friendship between the two countries. He was talking to a delegation of China National Nuclear Corporation led by Vice Chairman Liu Jing in Islamabad. The Prime Minister said the inauguration of the K3 power project in Karachi is also a reflection of further stability in China-Pakistan relations. Meanwhile the Sindh government has also announced a compensation package of 1 million rupees for each martyr and 500000 rupees for each injured of the police lines Peshawar blast. The announcement was made by Chief Minister Sindh Syed Murad Ali Shah during his visit to Lady Reading Hospital in Peshawar today where he inquired about the health of the blast victims. Minister for Energy Khurram Dastgir Khan says the government is taking substantial measures to generate low cost electricity in the country responding to a question during the question hour in the senate today he said government is providing electricity to five export oriented sectors at 19.99 rupees per unit to enhance exports of the country the minister said the government has abolished sales tax on solar panels khurram dastgir khan said the federal government buildings are being solarized and micro solar grids for rural areas are also being introduced for provision of low cost electricity responding to a question regarding import of oil from russia minister of state for petroleum musaddiq malik said commercial terms will be finalized by the end of next month and it is expected that pakistan will start receiving oil from russia in april In his remarks Minister of State for Law and Justice Shahid Tawan informed the house that work on Daimir Bhasha dam Mohammad dam Tarbela fifth extension Harpo hydropower project and Atabad lake hydropower project will be completed within time the house will now meet again on Monday at 3 pm The National Assembly today continued discussion on the recent incidents of terrorism particularly in Peshawar. Participating in the debate, Naz Baloch voiced concerns over the recent surge in acts of terrorism. Salauddin Ayubi said the recent act of terrorism at a mosque in Peshawar aggrieved the whole nation. The House today also passed Pakistan Maritime Zones Bill 2021. Later the House was adjourned to meet again on Monday at 5:30 p.m. This news bulletin comes to you from Radio Pakistan. 
Minister for Planning Asan Iqbal has called upon all the politicians, irrespective of the party affiliation, to work as a team to steer the country out of economic crisis. Speaking as chief guest at the launching ceremony of British Council's report in Islamabad today, he said Pakistan is passing through a difficult phase and requires collaboration of all stakeholders to elevate the country. Asan Iqbal said the country needs to provide best socio-political economic environment to youth to ensure a strong and stable Pakistan in the next decade or so. Esan Iqbal said the government has launched an internship program for youth under which 60,000 young graduates from across the country would get paid internships. Minister for Commerce Sayyid Naveed Kamar has said Pakistan is committed to increasing bilateral trade and investment opportunities with the United States. He was talking to U.S. Ambassador to Pakistan Donald Blom, who called on him in Islamabad today. They discussed matters of mutual interest, including economic cooperation, trade initiatives and investment opportunities. The minister expressed satisfaction over the current level of economic and trade cooperation between the two countries. The U.S. ambassador praised the strong bond between the United States and Pakistan and stated that the two countries were committed to further strengthen their ties. Security forces killed two terrorists during an exchange of fire in Isham area of North Waziristan district. According to ISPR, these terrorists were actively involved in terrorist activities against security forces. Illegally detained senior leader of all parties Huryat Conference, Naeem Ahmed Khan, has said Narendra Modi-led fascist Indian government's brutal tactics cannot subdue the Kashmiri spirit for freedom and they will continue their struggle till its logical conclusion. According to Kashmir Media Service, Naeem Ahmed Khan, in a message from New Delhi's infamous Tihar jail, strongly denounced the attaching of APHC head office and eviction of people from their lands in the name of so-called anti-encroachment drive by the occupation authorities. Meanwhile, protest demonstrations continued against the so-called anti-encroachment drive, which actually is aimed at evicting Kashmiris from their lands and properties. A large number of people held a demonstration in Kunjwani Bhatinda area of outskirts of Jammu city. Shopkeepers in Nagbal area of Shopanya district observed shutdown today against the so-called anti-encroachment drive. NATO has called on Russia to comply with the new START nuclear treaty to preserve international stability. In a statement issued by the North Atlantic Council of the Military Alliance, it noted with concern that Russia has failed to comply with legally binding obligations under the new START treaty, signed in 20. 10 and extended in 2021 for another five years, the treaty aims to control and reduce strategic nuclear forces used by the US and Russia. In the U.S. House of Representatives, Republicans have ousted Democrat Ilhan Omar from a high-profile committee over her remarks termed as anti-Semitic. The deeply divided House voted 218 against 211 along party lines to remove Omar from the Foreign Affairs Committee, with Republicans citing the 2019 remarks for which she later apologized. And now the weather report. Mainly cold and dry weather is expected in most parts of the country while cloudy in upper parts during the next 12 hours. However, light rain with light snowfall over the hills expected at isolated places in Upper Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, Gilgit Baltistan and Kashmir. Shallow fog is likely to occur at a few plain areas of Punjab. And now the headlines once again. Prime Minister has emphasized unity among all provinces to jointly fight the menace of terrorism. Federal government has announced compensation amount of 2 million rupees for each martyr and 500,000 rupees for each injured in the Peshawar tragedy. The Senate was informed today that the government is taking substantial measures to generate low-cost electricity in the country. Minister for Commerce says Pakistan is committed to increasing bilateral trade and investment opportunities with the United States. Kashmir Solidarity Day will be observed on Sunday to express Pakistan's continued and unflinching support to Kashmiri people in their just struggle for right to self-determination. And NATO has called on Russia to comply with the new START nuclear treaty to preserve international stability. And that is all for now. For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash Radio Pakistan News Official.